bitches, Ivanka Trump. Abigail, go with the child, Ivanka Trump. Abigail, go with the Ivanka Trump. Abigail. Go with the Ivanka Trump. Abigail. Abigail, go with the Abigail. Abigail, go with the Ivanka Trump. What is up, my friends? Good morning. It is an absolutely snowed in Tuesday morning here in Arkansas. It is about 6.30 right now. I waited a little bit till uh, to do my video. Uh, just sitting here with Abigail. He's my poopy dog. My poopy dog, yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to log in, regardless of whether I'm going to work or not. This early this morning, I'm, I'm gonna wait till the sun hits my hill. I got a little bit of it come through and it uh, laid a layer of ice and then it snowed on top of it. So it'll be the sun will hit it. Maybe my neighbor will go up to the top of the hill a couple of times and uh, I won't have to worry about getting in and out. Then uh, I'll go. But uh, school's closed. The old lady works for the state. The state's closed, non essential. So, uh, yeah. I think. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here till I can get out and then I'm gonna go to work because I got shit to do. <laughs> I got deadlines. I don't work for the state. But uh yeah. I guess uh I will say it's what's come out is uh with uh Donald Trump and the shithole comment, uh it turns out that uh they brought him a uh they brought him a bill that wasn't what they said, what they agreed to. What they wanted to do is to kind of fuck around with it a little bit. And they were trying to smooth one past the president. The president looked at it and he goes, well, he basically dressed them down. He cussed them like the dogs they are. And they took exception to that. So they took one little part, whatever they could... And Lindsey Graham is just as bad. He was a hashtag resistor. Don't forget what that motherfucker said about the president several times. <sighs> yeah. They got dressed down. They took the subject to it. They took whatever they could to try and get at the president about it. The president has not lost any leverage. See, they think they're dealing with another president. No. He hasn't lost any leverage. DACA just won't go. He'll just let it all look... <laughs> He'll just let it all dissolve. They're used to somebody who will buckle, who will give in to, and, and cares what they look like. Well, you know what you've done? As Democrats and the liberal left and the media, they've all fucked themselves. How, how can he get any fucking more unpopular in your eyes? You think he's a racist, crazy motherfucker who wants to fucking destroy the planet. So where can he go from there in your eyes? So any amount of complaint from you is moot. All he cares about is the people who are encouraging him and care about him. And let me tell you, all these uh, these five or six dumb motherfuckers who aren't going to the State of the Union are going to watch it at home and pretend like they didn't because they do care. They know that this is a historic presidency. Uh... All of these people, I'll, I'll, I'll gladly go. Uh, hell, I'll start driving. I'll drive up there in the snow and shit to go to that State of the Union. I can't wait to hear what he thinks his accomplishments are and where he thinks we need to go. Because that's important. <laughs> He's showing true leadership, Abigail's. I gave her my yogurt container. Abigail. Abigail, what are you doing? Are you trying to eat the plastic? You are eating the plastic. Well, you can't have the plastic. You had the yogurt out of it. I looked at her. I turned it. I gave it to her. I turned and looked at her. She was licking it out. And then she had it on her nose. She stuck her head up like that. She had her face all in it. And then you could tell she was licking the inside of it out. <laughs> Anyways. Whatever is going on with you personally, 
uh, now that we've got all that out of the way, I want you to know that uh, you're a bad motherfucker. You know how I know? Well, you see, those of you who comment, uh, and I'm learning here, I'm learning here, I have people who disagree with me that watch me. Kudos for you. Much fucking love for that. You have to, and respect. Um, because that's my motto. I, I believe that we have to be around and hear the points of view of people who disagree with us. I believe that wholeheartedly. Because uh, if you don't listen to people who you disagree with, then how are you ever going to learn anything? Debate. Healthy debate. Not, well, you're just fucking ignorant. You're an idiot. Or you, you can't you can't go to that level. Uh, it just doesn't work that way. Uh, once you start calling other people idiots, uh, you, I don't know, you're trying to make yourself feel superior or something and that, and then doing that. But uh, that to me is paired with calling someone in, in a debate, calling someone names or posting links or memes or... St- <sighs> Like with the immigration debate and you cite the poem on the Statue of Liberty, which we didn't even put on the Statue of Liberty. It just... (sighs) People have lost the ability to talk to each other with respect. And this is bred by our leaders. And not Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the one who's come and made them all crazy. But I, it's, this started way before with Barack Obama uh, with his political correctness. And everybody's talking about words matter, these words, words, words. Well, it, they got used to the way Barack Obama talked. And it was horrible the way... Barack Obama, you see, she doesn't like it. Obama, Abigail, Obama, huh? Man, the way he would talk, he would say something like, uh, I, don't, I don't know, the way he would talk, he would say something you completely disagree with, but the way he talked and his inflection, and, and he was just a sly motherfucker, he was Satan on it. But he would, he would, he was silver tongue devil. That's what I mean, not Satan. He was a silver tongue devil. He, he would fucking be saying something that you totally disagree with, but then you would be like, I found myself shaking my head like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then I realized what he said, he'd finished the sentence. And I'm like, wait, 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 no, no, I don't agree with that. So he just had a way. And, uh, you know, and Clinton was the same way. Uh, you know, George Bush wasn't that way. George Bush was a bumbling idiot when it come to talking, but his leadership, uh, eh, he was a great leader. If you really look at George Bush and W, not George H. W., who people forget was the head of the CIA. Don't forget that. It's, it's been a long time, and our and our agencies have been weaponized, and... Uh, and it started with George H.W. Bush with our intelligence agencies being weaponized against us as Americans. Information is king. Intelligence is information. And right now, even as I'm recording this before I post it anywhere, it's being recorded at Google somewhere. Or Apple, whoever, whoever the fuck owns this camera app has access to it, free access, along with a bunch of other ac- uh, access, like with my, uh, my, well, everything that this program interacts with, or the audio of it, or the microphone, or whatever the hell. It's all being recorded right now, and I haven't even posted the video yet. Information is king. Now, who controls it? That's the thing. We're in a weird, fucked-up world. 
everything's upside down and backwards. You finally have a great leader who does what he says he's going to do, and people are upset about that. People were happy when they had leaders who really did nothing. Talked a whole lot of shit, but really did nothing. Then you came to Barack Obama, who did something, but admitted while he was doing it that it was wrong and that he didn't have the authority to do it. Uh, he had so many executive orders that were just not right. That He tried to just make social blah, blah, blah. Donald Trump rescinds those, and now there is actual law on a bunch of it, which is why he rescinded them. But you don't want to fucking understand that. A lot of you. Donald Trump just didn't do these things to be mean. He's not taking away DACA to be mean and deport these people. He doesn't want that. And he's actually said that, if you'd listen to him. What he wants is actual action and laws to be passed. And he's pushing it. He's making these things happen by going from one to the other quickly. He's making them get shit done. And at the end of his second or third year, when it's undeniable what he's done and how he's helped us, and the economy's absolutely fucking smashing, we'll see. We'll see. I love you. I hope you have a great day. I have talked long enough, randomly fucking blah, 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 through this, but it's a snow day. I'm fixing to be doing that. <laughs> I love you. Have a good one. Little doggy.